The skull crusher is one of the most commonly used exercises for the tricep muscles, but it often causes pain, whether it be elbow pain, shoulder pain or wrist pain. You've likely experienced one of these or know someone that has experienced pain in this exercise. And it's a shame because the skull crusher, when done correctly, is an amazing exercise for building that sought after horseshoe look to the triceps. And if this does happen to you, don't write the skull crusher off just yet, because today we're gonna to go through five instant fixes to the skull crusher that can eliminate this pain. What are you saying guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Isa and I'm a medic studying in London. So before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button down below. I do appreciate it. And I can see that most people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So make sure you subscribe down below for more science-based fitness videos. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So the skull crusher targets all three heads of the triceps, but because our shoulders are flexed and we're doing an overhead extension, this primarily targets the long head of the triceps. And this is actually the longest and largest head and so it makes sense that we focus on it. So with these five fixes, what I want you to do is save this video and next time you're gonna do a skull crusher, I want you to try do the first one. And if that doesn't work, go to the second one. If that doesn't work, go to the third one and so on. So the first fix is what's gonna help most people with this pain. And in particular, it's elbow pain when locking out or extending the elbow at the top of the range of motion. And the reason why is because we do the skull crusher too early on in the workout. That means we're having to use a heavier weight which is gonna put more stress on the tendon. And also it means that the tendon itself and the soft tissue isn't warmed up enough. So try this out, do the skull crusher towards the end of your workout and make sure you have a pump in the triceps before you actually do it. And you can get the pump by using a light weight, whether it be rope extensions or any other exercise that you like, but go lightweight just to get the pump and really get that metabolic stress on the muscle. It's gonna warm up the tendon and most of the time, it can alleviate the pain. It's worked for me, it's worked for other people I know, so try it out. So the second fix is related to the first, and it's to use less weight. And I'd say if you're using a weight where you're doing anything less than 10 reps, it might be too much weight. So I'd say 10 to 20 reps is a good range, and this way we're getting that metabolic stress to cause hypertrophy rather than the mechanical tears method. So it might be worth just dropping the weight by a couple kg and adding those extra reps and see if that helps. And if that doesn't help, the third fix is to try using dumbbells instead of a bar. This has multiple advantages. And in terms of pain, we're all slightly anatomically different. So for example, our wrists and elbows might have different bone structure, tendon length, tendon position and pathways and other connective tissue um, variations. And it may be that if you're using a bar, your wrists and elbows are forced into a motion which they're not comfortable in. And so using dumbbells will alleviate this. And another benefit, which isn't to do with pain, but is still quite important, is that this way we're training each tricep individually and making sure that each tricep is doing the same amount of work. Whereas if you're using a bar, one side might be compensating for the other, and so you might end up with muscle imbalances. So fix number four is to not extend the elbows all the way at the top of the movement, or to not hyperextend for those with hypermobile elbows. And it might be fairly obvious that this might be causing tendon strain, and that's what might be causing elbow pain. And for those of you wondering, what happened to a full range of motion? Well, it's true that most of the time, a full range of motion is gonna to lead to more muscle mass and a hypertrophy. But there was a 2019 study that found that specifically with elbow extension, a partial range of motion was superior to a full range and it led to twice as much muscle mass. And this is in the mid range of the movement. And so it may be worth completely taking out the top and bottom portions of this range and not locking out at the top and avoiding stretching too far down at the bottom. And the reason that they think this might lead to more muscle growth is because of a starvation of oxygen in the muscle because it's constantly working in that mid range of motion. And so it doesn't really get any rest. And they think that's what causes the muscle to grow. Now remember this study was specific to elbow extension. And so it might not work with other movements and other exercises. Now the last and final fix is related to what I said earlier about everyone being structurally slightly different. And so it's to do with grip. So if you normally use a normal grip with your thumbs over the bar, try using a thumbless grip as this has helped some people remove any pain from the exercise. And for those using a bar, try varying the grip. So using narrow grip, wide grip, and just seeing where it's more comfortable for you and where there's no pain. And that's where you want to do the range of motion. 
what's comfortable for you and where you still feel your muscles working. Now if you've done all of these five fixes that we've spoken about, you have warmed up, you've switched to dumbbells, varying grips, um, doing a partial range of motion, and if you're still feeling elbow pain, shoulder pain, wrist pain, it may be worth just doing a different exercise. There are loads of different options and alternatives. You don't have to do the skull crusher, although it is a great exercise. So if you still want to do tricep overhead extension, my personal favorite is the cable overhead extension. Or you can even try other overhead extensions where you focus on one arm at a time. So you can really concentrate on your form and reducing the pain. And if your tricep tendons and your elbow is constantly hurting, it may be something more serious like tendonitis or something. So it may be worth seeking medical advice for that. But that wraps up today's video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, do head over onto my Instagram and give me a follow because I do upload multiple times a week showing different exercises and also what I'm up to. Right now I'm focusing on my deadlift. And if you wanna stay up to date with what's going on and you wanna see what exercises I'm doing to raise my deadlift, you can check me out on there. But guys, if you haven't already, make sure you smash the like button down below, hit the subscribe button for more science-based fitness videos and hit the notification bell too. And remember, work hard, but work smart. And I'll see you in the next video.